In this video, I'm going to discuss about the test of significance for single mean for large sample test. First of all, to apply large sample applications, the condition is sample size, it means n, should be greater than or equal to 30. And particularly in single mean, we are going to use it sample mean x bar and population mean mu and specified value mu naught. These three notations we are going to use it. So to solve any single mean problems, we should follow working rules of hypothesis. The first working rule is null hypothesis. Totally, we have six working rules. One is null hypothesis. Second one is alternative hypothesis. Third one, level of significance. Fourth one, test statistics. Fifth one, critical value. Sixth one, conclusion. So first of all, we'll discuss about null hypothesis. Null hypothesis statement, we can write it as H0 colon X bar is equal to mu. Alternatively, mu is equal to mu naught also we can mention. It means there is no significance difference between sample mean and population mean. Or else, the sample has been drawn from the parent population. Next, working rule is alternative hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis we can denote in three ways. That is H1 colon X bar not equal to mu or else mu not equal to mu naught. Next, X bar greater than mu or else mu greater than mu naught or X bar less than mu, mu less than mu naught. Here, mu not equal to mu naught, if you write it, we can consider under two tailed test. If you consider mu not equal to mu naught, we can consider that is a two tailed test. And if it is a mu greater than mu naught, we can consider it is a right tail test. And if you consider mu less than mu naught, we can consider as left tail test. Third working rule, level of significance. We have to prefer level of significance uh, uh, at alpha, that is a specified level of significance. Next working rule, test statistics. In this, we have two cases. First case is when sigma is known. Second case is sigma is unknown. Under first case, whenever sigma is known, we can consider Z as Z we can call as a test statistic. Z we can use as X bar minus mu divided by standard error of X bar. That standard error of X bar we can denote it as sigma by root n. Finally, Z is equal to X bar minus mu divided by sigma by root n. Here, X bar is a general mean. Mu is called population mean. Sigma is a standard deviation. And N is a sample size. Next, we discuss case 2. In case 2, as I told you, sigma is a uh, unknown. Whenever sigma is unknown, we will consider standard error of x bar as s divided by root n. And uh, the test statistic, we can take it as z is equal to x bar minus mu divided by standard error of x bar. That is x bar minus mu divided by s by root n. We will consider this formula whenever sigma is unknown. Next working rule, critical value. Here the critical value we will consider at a specified level of significance by using of a normal table. The sixth working rule is conclusion. Here in the conclusion, Z calculated value, we should compare with the Z table value. If Z calculated value is less than Z table value, we have to accept null hypothesis. Here, here I wrote Z as calculated value and Z alpha is table value. So if you compare Z calculated value 
uh, with the Z table value whenever this relation Z less than Z alpha we accept null hypothesis same way Z calculated value if it is greater than Z table value we should reject null hypothesis as the rejection rule here I discussed below just see the rejection region so with the help of this table easily we can explain see critical region whenever mu not equal to mu not this we can call as a two tail test and uh, two tail test at one percent if a z calculated value is greater than 2.58 we have to reject h naught if a two tail test five percent level if calculated value is greater than 1.96 we reject h naught same two tail test at 10% level of significance if a calculated value is greater than 1.645 we have to reject h naught statement the same as if it is a right tail test as i told you mu greater than mu naught is a right tail test when a right tail test with 1% value you have to reject h naught whenever it is greater than 2.33 same way right tail test at 5% level you have to reject h naught whenever the value one more than 1.645 same way z calculated value if it is a more than 1.28 at a 10% level you have to reject h naught mu less than mu naught left tail test at 10% level of significance if a calculated value is less than minus 1.28 we have to reject the h naught statement now i'll explain about the test of significance for single mean one example if you see this example what they mentioned observe it in a random sample of 60 workers the average time taken by them to get to work is 33.8 minutes with a standard deviation of 6.1 minutes can be reject the null hypothesis h naught colon mu is equal to 32.6 minutes in a favor of alternative hypothesis mu greater than 32.6 at alpha is equal to 0 0.05 level of significance in this problem first of all you should understand what is the value of n that is equal to 60 and uh, average value whatever they mentioned that is x bar 33.8 and standard deviation is 6.1 minutes and uh, null hypothesis statement mu is equal to 32.6 and alternative hypothesis mu greater than 32.6 so with the help of uh, uh, this information it is easy for us to find the solution so this to find the solution you have to follow working rules of hypothesis the first working rule is null hypothesis it is denoted as h naught which is nothing but mu is equal to 32.6 next you have to write to alternative hypothesis which is denoted as h1 that is mu greater than 32.6 here already they mentioned mu greater than 32.6 as alternative hypo statement and mu is equal to 32.6 as a null hypothesis the same way level of significance this is the third working rule level of significance denoted as alpha that they mentioned uh, at a 0 0.05 level of significance it means 5% level of significance we have to consider fourth working rule is test statistics under this you have to write it formula that is z is equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma by root n modulus this case we can consider as sigma is known case 
नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ वर्किंग रूल इज कैलकुलेशन हियर दे मेन्शनड एन इज ईक्वल टू सिक्सटी एंड एक्स बार इज ईक्वल टू थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट एट sigma is equal to as per the given information 6.1 and uh, mu is equal to 32.6 with the help of these values we can substitute in z formula that is 33.8 minus 32.6 divided by 6.1 divided by root n that is 60 so if you simplify this value you will get it 1.5238 this we can consider as z calculated value now to write the conclusion this is the sixth working rule to write conclusion we should use z table value and z calculated value Z calculated value already we decided. Now we are going to decide Z table value. So for Z table value, we have to take it at what level of significance we have taken, and which tail test we are applying. So that information, this alternative hypothesis statement will provide us. So that is whenever we are getting greater than, so that we can apply. right tail test so right tail test at a 5% level of significance as per the given information so these two you should consider to decide the table value that is 1.645 next you have to compare z calculated value with the z table value here is z calculated value is less than z table value we decide we accept h not it means whatever the statement null hypothesis statement they give that we are accepting next we'll see one more example a based on test of significance for single mean in this example uh if you see it is claimed that a random sample of 49 types tires has a mean life of 15200 kilometers this sample was drawn from a population whose mean is 15150 kilometers and standard deviation of 1200 kilometers test the significance at a 0.05 level of significance 0.05 level in this if you consider this is a sample size and this you should consider as a sample mean that is x bar and this is a population mean mu and uh, this is a standard deviation sigma level of significance 0.05 with this information you can solve this problem using of uh, working rules of hypothesis see the first working rule now the hypothesis it is denoted as h not which we can consider mu is equal to 15150 and next second working rule is alternative hypothesis that is h1 which is mu not equal to 15150 and whenever we are getting not equal to we can say that it is a two tailed test next working rule is level of significance
that is denoted as alpha you can consider at 0 0.05 in this case next working rule is test statistics test statistics we can write as z is equal to which formula is applicable that I am writing so for this problem single mean is applicable that is why I am writing z is equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma by root n modulus here as per the given problem you can take it as n value 49 x bar value 15,200 and mu value 15,150 and alpha value 0 0.05 and sigma value 1200 that is z is equal to if I substitute all these values in this formula, we will get it 15,200 minus 15,150 divided by 1200 sigma value divided by root 49. If you simplify this, you will get it 0 0.2917. And this calculated value should compare with the table value. So to find the table value, so that will that information we will write it under conclusion. This we can take it as sixth working rule, and this you can take it as fifth working rule. That is a calculation. So here you have to decide the Z table value. Z table value depends on which tail test we are applying as well as what is the level of significance. With the help of these two you have to decide it. Here is 5% level of significance under a two tail test the Z table value is 1.96. So now compare it Z calculated value with the z table value in this problem if you compare like a z calculated value is 0 0.2917 and the table value is 1.96 so z calculated value is less than z table value that is why we should write uh, we are accepting h naught it means as per the given statement mu value is equal to 15150 is acceptable thank you